everyone. Thank you for tuning in uh, for this video. It's a vlog. As you can see, I haven't really done one of those before, but I guess that's what people put when they're, you know, kind of going off the makeup topic a little bit, which I am today. Um, I just kind of thought that this was necessary to bring up because it's just, it's kind of been, been affecting me and I haven't done videos for a few days here. And so I thought maybe um, many of you who have who I've kind of grown close to and and who have really been my friends through this YouTube uh, adventure, um, I thought you might be interested or care about it, so I thought I would bring it up. Um, my grandma recently passed away. Um, we all called her Ma. <laughs> she was such a nice lady, and um, and I've been at her at her funeral and gone back home for a few days. Her co well, really not as long as I wanted to because I had to come back and go to work, but um, it's just, it's it just was a very sad time for me and my family. Um, she was nearly 90 years old, so, I mean, she lived a, a really long life, but um, she was just, a, just one of those people you don't forget, you know. And so I, I guess I just wanted to bring that up and let you know that that had happened. And she kind of inspires me, too, because she kind of got me thinking about something that you know, Mom and I had talked about because she had gone up. This is, uh, this is my mom's mother. I don't know if I said that. But um, she would kind of take care of her and get her ready for the day. And um, she said that Ma always felt better when she had her lipstick on and her blush on and she just felt a whole lot more confident and, and, and perked up, you know? It just it just kind of raised the way she felt about herself. Even in this picture, I know she wasn't feeling well here, but she had her lipstick on and her hair done and that was just the way she always felt best. And I kind of thought that, isn't that true? Isn't that true in, in life? Just, I mean, I'm not trying to... Uh, make too much light of a serious situation, but I just thought that's one of the little things that I'll remember about her, and it just kind of got me thinking that that's not just her, I think that's everybody, and so it kind of made me feel good about what I was doing here with these videos and things like that, because I think my mom had told her I was doing them, and she thought that was really neat, and um, so I guess this one's for her, so... <laughs> um, and, the, and so I chose to do a topic about lipstick, and, and I, I really would like to, you know, just kind of honor her, and I, I thought you guys would care, and because I feel like you care about me, and I care about you all, my subscribers, so thank you. Um, thank you for tuning in, and thanks for watching this, and um, for now I'm going to go on and, and, and go on with my video now, so um, it's about red lipstick because I know that I've had quite a few questions like what's some good red lipstick you know and so I thought I would just go ahead and suggest some for you today because like I said this was something Ma really liked <laughs> was lipstick so um, I'll go th just go through a few um, the one that I'm wearing right now uh, as you can see it's like the true red shade and it's from NYX or NYX, and the color is Hebe, H-E-B-E, and this is available at cherryculture.com, and as you can see, it's a true red color, but it does have a little bit of shimmer to it, and actually a little bit of gold undertones to it, which I'm surprised because it's almost like a warmer red instead of a cool red, and I generally gravitate towards cooler tones of red, but this one really works nice, and I feel like it's not over the top. I feel like I can, you know, get away with wearing it and not be too, too loud with it, I guess. So I just wanted to show you that one. And in case you thought, well, that looks totally red, not, you know, a step down from red, I've got another one to show you. This is Chaos from NYX. And this is, that's my serious red shade. This, this one just is, you know, all out red. There is no shimmer to it. It's just a cream lipstick. And so if you're going for, you know, fire engine red, that one, that one is the one. But like I said, for a more wearable one on a daily basis, I like Kibi. 
there it just has a little um, little hint of shimmer to it and a little bit of a golden -y undertone that makes it more wearable for a lot of people. Um, another option that is available probably right at your local drugstore or Walmart is NYC in sheer red and it is their ultra moist lip wear so I think this runs only about um, a dollar or so but as you can see this is a, a little step darker just by comparison with you know these other shades it's just got a little more darkness to it and just a slight bit more of a berry tone but it's still red and I didn't and I wanted to focus this on red not on like berries burgundies or anything like that I really wanted to keep it at red and I thought this is kind of right on the verge of it so I wanted to tell you about that so if you like it just a little step darker um, that would work another good lipstick is this Maybelline um, I think this is Moisture Wear Lip Color in Scarlet Simmer. This is kind of close to um, that NYX Hebe shade, only it's got... Let me just compare them here together side by side. Um, it's just got a little more of a darker burgundy undertone to it. Whereas this might be a little bit more of the orange undertone. This this might have more of the, the blue undertones. I know it's kind of hard to look at red and think blue undertone, but that's kind of what people say about it. Um, and, and those blue undertones often make your lips or your teeth look really, really white. Um, this one is, I mean, I feel like it's making my teeth look uh, white, that chaos shade, but it could be the... Uh, special kind of white strips I have which I'm going to be doing a video on. <laughs> I'm really excited about those. So anyway, those are just four lipsticks that I like that are red and then I have three lip glosses and I find that red lip gloss is kind of like true red lip gl lip gloss. It's kind of hard to come by. And so I have a few and the one that's my very favorite unfortunately is not a regular part of Revlon's Super Lustrous lip gloss line. The shade is Get Ready. And the reason why I'm still bringing it up is because I think it may still be available at your local Big Lots if you check that out. Um, they often carry some discontinued or, you know, holiday shades of, of Revlon Super Lustrous. And I like wearing this one right on top of that. But I think it makes a great red lip there. And... Yeah, the shade is Get Ready, and if you look closely at it, I mean, there is some shimmer to it. It's just pretty, it's pretty alone, too. You wouldn't have to wear that over anything. That could be kind of like a liquid lipstick. But, like I said, I'm bringing it up in case maybe you do run across it elsewhere. And, and uh, you know, one to look out for. It's a, it's a special find. If you find one, you know, one or two, get them both, because you'll want them. Um, this next one is uh, from number seven boots number seven I think is the brand I found it at Target and it's high shine lip gloss in lust number 30 and so this is just a nice cream color it has very very fine sparkle to it and if I were to swatch it for you you could see it's kind of got that nice creamy texture but you can see the shine <laughs> when I turn my hand so that's a really really nice one too um, of the two, this one is less sparkly and more more just a cream. The sparkle is very subtle, but if you do like more sparkle and you're going on the very, very, very affordable side, Wet n Wild Mega Slicks in Red Sensation. I really like this color. I don't wear it as often because I feel like the glitter is slightly more than I want on a regular basis, but it still works. Um, it would be the second, it would be this one right here. Um, you can see it's got great shine. Um, it, it actually comes off a little bit sheer. I know you can't, it, it just looks like two red stripes on my hands, but it's slightly sheerer than the other one. And it just does have some kind of, I don't know if you can see there, but it does have some definite red glitter in there. So, um, anyway, that's sort of just my picks on red lipstick and lip gloss. Um, like I said, it's kind of an inspired recommendation video, I guess you'd say. Um, uh, just thank you so much for caring everybody and for watching this video and um, and I just I guess at times like this you know you just really try to uh, you think a little bit more about every day you have and how much are you really enjoying it while you're here you know and I know this video is getting kind of deep <laughs> but um, I just you know just something to think about so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day